Hi, and welcome to Marketing Optimization with Alex Designs. I'm your host, Alex Harris, and today we have Rick Calvert from New Media Expo. How are you doing, Rick? I'm doing great, Alex. I am super stoked to have you on the show today. Not only are we talking about the great upcoming event, New Media Expo, but I love going to conferences, not only for the great material that you get from the speakers, but really the partnerships and the people that you meet at New Media Expo. This is going to be my first event going to New Media Expo in January uh, in Vegas, and I really look forward to the event. Can you tell us, Rick, what kind of people attend the New Media Expo event? Crazy people. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> um, I, so I used to say that I'm not a geek. I used to tell people that all the time. I think I am a geek now. I can't say that anymore. Um, so they, these are people who are passionate about new media, and they come from all different walks of life, all different types of businesses, all different types of content. The one unifying factor is they're passionate about new media, and so they may be a blogger or a podcaster or a web TV creator or a solopreneur or somebody who does uh, marketing or PR for a small company or even an enterprise-level business, all the way from a, a, a one-man operation to a Fortune 500 company. So it's a pretty wide variety. The thing that we all have in common is that we love content. We love new media. So many people have told me that this conference in particular has changed the course of their career. And that was really one of the motivations for me to sign up for New Media Expo. So I hope you guys who are listening are going to join me and change your 2014 by coming to New Media Expo. Let's talk about some of that great content that's going to be there. What are you looking forward to? Who are you looking forward to seeing at New Media Expo? So one of the problems that we have, which is one of the good problems that we have, is we have about 300 speakers, and I look forward to seeing all of them, <laughs> and uh, you just it's impossible to do. So there, there's just so many great people. So for example, uh, Lee Auden is uh, one of our keynote speakers this year from Top Rank Marketing Blog. I mean, unbelievable content. Lee always has amazing information real data that people can use and take home. Um, Amy Porterfield is one of the top experts in Facebook in the world, always has great content. Um, Tom Webster, um, who has amazing analytical data, he can always talk about you know trends that we've seen historical and where he sees things going in the future. So he's always got great information. Um, Cliff Ravenscraft, who heads up our podcasting track, um, always uh, delivers great content. We've got uh, Gary Arndt, and uh, Chris Christensen and uh, and Heather Greenwood Davis, all some of the top travel bloggers in the world, who are talking about um, content and the way the way the way that they create content. Um, there's just so many. Um, I, I could go on and on and on with people that 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 you have to see. And unfortunately, sometimes they're speaking at the same time in different rooms. Yeah, I, I am super pumped to see Lee and Amy Porterfield. You know, they they are optimizing their their marketing strategies, and I, I I love the content that they produce. Definitely looking forward to to catching those sessions as well. Uh, from from a podcast perspective, tell us a little bit about the setups there to be able to to podcast live, use Podcast Pavilion. I hear a lot of different things about that. Tell us a little about that. So we have a couple of different things going on there. So we have an area called the Podcast Pavilion, and there's a a, a place on the website where you can um, request to reserve a time slot and do your own podcast live at the show so it's not streamed live you're recording it with a live audience at the show floor and that's in the podcast pavilion and then in the podcasting sessions we actually will have three different sessions where fiction podcasters are creating live podcasts there at the show with voice actors creating the story doing everything live on the spot so you can see that whole entire creative process um, and there'll be lots of other people who are creating content everywhere you go. You'll see video cameras and people doing little interviews, audio interviews all over the in the lobby, the show floor, when speakers get done. I mean, it's there's people are creating content everywhere you go. Yeah, I heard you talk about the fictional uh, uh, podcasters in the Cliff Ravenscraft uh, podcast uh, report and uh, some, some really interesting stuff there, the live podcasting going on. What should I expect from the Rio when I'm flying into Vegas? Is is, is there some tips to to really um, you know get around the the conference correctly? Get to all the you know the meetups, meet people. What what kind of info would you give to when I arrive at the Rio? So one of the things I like about 
Vegas is. It's an easy city to get around. Yeah. Um, you've got um, uh, cabs can take you everywhere. Um, so you really don't need a car in Vegas. Um, the Rio is about a $15 cab ride from the airport. So it's pretty cheap to get there. And then once you get there, you, you can leave. There's lots of other things to do, but you don't really have to. Um, they've got lots of restaurants there. They've even got some shopping there. You've got some other hotels right next to it. It's not actually on the strip. And then the conference is right there too. So it's a short walk from your hotel room to the conference sessions. And um, we've got the podcast awards will be right there. The web TV awards will be right there. The um, reception for the podcast awards will be right there. So um, everything you need is kind of super close. You can roll out of bed and just walk right into the conference. Yeah, if, if we even sleep at all. The... The, 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 the speakers are, are really so great, but what I look forward to when going to a conference is the hallway talks, the, the, um, the meetups outside the conference, the people that you meet. You just get so much great energy leaving a conference like that. Can you tell us a little bit about that, that energy that you feel and the people that you meet when you're, you're, you're going to New Media Expo and then you leave there super pumped? So I tell people this all the time. It doesn't really just apply to New Media Expo. It applies to any conference or trade show. Um, The networking that you get out of that event is a significant part of it. I mean, we have businesses that are created at New Media Expo by people meeting each other and realizing there's an opportunity there. For example, Third Tribe was created at New Media Expo. Darren Rouse, um, uh, Chris Brogan, and uh, and, uh, the moment – Brian Clark, thank you so much. Sorry about that. And Sonia Simone, they all met each other for the first time ever at New Media Expo and Third Tribe was a result of that. Right. Um, You've had uh, companies bought and sold at New Media Expo. Um, So those are just some of the things that come out of the networking that you get at the show. So it's really important that you show up early, you stay late, Mm -hmm. and you come focused and ready to do business because you never know where that next opportunity will be. It could be the speaker that you're listening to. It could be an exhibitor that you walk up to. It could be the person sitting next to you at at the lunch table. Totally. You never know who you're really talking to. And I've already been connecting with some people who are going to New Media Expo, and I think that's a really great way to prep yourself for a conference is to connect with people that really inspire you through Twitter, through Facebook, or whatever. Um, for instance, another thing, another thing. I'm sorry, Alex, just to mention real quick is that you know I, we kind of touched on the diversity of the audience, right? Mm-hmm. From where people come from, the different backgrounds, and that's another. Th- thing that's kind of magic about the show is you're going to meet people here you might not otherwise meet anywhere else right and you would have never had that opportunity before so there's a there's a kind of a unique element there where we bring people together from these different worlds with this one common interest um and and really cool things happen because of it yeah uh you know when you get so many smart people into a place like that and you just get you know brainstorming and energy you know you really need to empower that and, and use that motivation for a very successful 2014 because so much stuff is going to come out of it. And I am looking forward to really learning new stuff, new media. I'm putting together a video podcast on YouTube and iTunes, and I'm looking forward to what video has in the future. Have you seen any uh, anticipation of, of presenters or case studies of what the future holds for video casts there's so much going on with video right now so for example i know we'll have at least one session maybe another one we're talking about right now dealing with vine so six second videos right yeah all the way from definitely mobile uh video and mobile well we we've talked about that for a couple of years now but it's getting bigger and bigger by the day so we'll definitely have sessions on getting people to find your content consume your content on mobile devices yeah and then lastly we've also got uh, bernie sue who is one of the creators of the lizzie bennett diaries something you may have not heard of um, but this is a basically the story Pride and Prejudice told in modern day via people talking to a webcam, kind of like what we're doing now. Right. And it's the entire story with actors, but they're not only are they doing video, they're also talking to each other on Twitter and Facebook and Pinterest and other social channels. They have their own Tumblr blogs, and then they're also interacting with the audience. Right. So it's a unique transmedia um, uh, engaged experience. And so that's – you think about we're doing six-second videos with Vine and then we're doing this transcendent video across mobile platforms. I mean so th- 
it's just a pretty unique in, uh, spot in the time where we're at with a uh, video right now. Yeah, and and that's evident by even Google moving the the comments combining Google Plus and YouTube. I mean, it's it's there for the taking. You need to really carve out your niche in video and take it and take that. And I'm looking forward to learning that. <laughs> you touched on something else right there too okay. that's important. So two years ago, Google Plus didn't exist, right? Pinterest didn't exist. Yeah. And these are some of the things that we talk about at New Media Expo. A year ago, Vine didn't exist. You know, a year and a half ago, two years ago now, Instagram didn't exist. And so you never know what that next thing will be. And then when a really significant change will happen, like Google Plus being integrated with YouTube um, yeah. or, or Instagram, you know, getting bought by Facebook. I mean, there right. are these, and that changes the way, if you're a marketer, the way you're creating your content, um, the way you're, you're promoting your content and the way people are consuming your content. So that stuff is always changing. We always have to be learning new things. Yeah. And I'm sure we're going to see some new technologies as well, uh, whether it's Google Glass or watches or, or whatever it is, uh, because there's always some new type of buzz, whether it's an app that everyone's using at, at, at a big conference like that. I'm sure we'll, we'll see those gadgets all over the place. Yeah, definitely. I know we have at least one speaker, Robert Scoble, who wears his Google Glass everywhere he goes. So I'm sure we'll see a few people doing that. Awesome. Well, I definitely appreciate your time. Let's wrap up by telling people how they can find out more about New Media Expo. Uh, well, you can send me a tweet at Blog World, uh, that's me, or at New Media Expo. Um, we have folks that monitor that account, or you can go to Facebook. We're at New Media Expo on Facebook, or you can go to our website, nmxlive.com. Definitely. Thank, thanks a lot for your time, and if you want to connect before New Media Expo, hit me up at Alex Designs. Thanks a lot, Ray. Thank, thank you, Alex. Take care.